Hey there everyone, my name is Pritam and I welcome you all to this channel. Today video going to be super exciting because today we will see one of a very famous Android emulator in Microsoft Windows. Today we will talk about BlueStack and its latest ROM of Android. We will see how we can install and utilize it. So without further ado, let's get started. So here you can see I have already opened browser and now I'm going to type here blue stack and hit enter. Now let's go to its official website. So here you can see download blue stack 5. But before we start downloading, let me also talk about blue stack 10. So blue stack 10 may fail to you confusing. It, it seems that blue stack 10 is more advanced compared to blue stack 5 which i would say is not completely true since this one is more of cloud-based blue stack while the upper one is more of system-based blue stack let's say you have a system which is powerful enough just like the one i am using have got 64 gigabyte of ram and powered by 13 generation core i7 so I believe this one is powerful enough to run BlueStack 5. So in that kind of configuration, I guess you, you should go with BlueStack 5. But let's say if you have slightly outdated hardware, but have a very decent internet connection. And if you are okay, if everything remain in cloud, then you can go with BlueStack 10. But let's say if you have got good computer, I would suggest you to go with BlueStack 5. Now here also you will see different different version. For that, here instead of simply clicking on download, we're going to click here on see all version. Now from here, I would like to download the latest one which is still in beta, which is Android 11 64 bit. Let me click here on download. And that's how guys we have just downloaded it. Now let's click on open. And now run the setup. Now we need to click on accept software license. Now we can either customize it if we want to, but let's say I'm going to keep everything as it is. Then I can click here on install now, but let's say you want to do customization. So you can change the path where you want to install it. Now here you can see it's going to take space of around 6.5 gigabyte. So that is the space that this will occupy. Now let me click here on install now and there we go here you can see it have started downloading the installer setup from internet now let's just wait for the download process to get ended now i think everything is automated so we will wait for the download process to get ended and there we go we are about to start this blue stack and here you are seeing BlueStack at 1440p resolution. Now here it is asking us to provide Hyper-V access. Now we need to um, restart our system. So let me click here on restart and then come back. Now let's click here on BlueStack 5. And it seems that my Hyper-V is not enabled. So in order to enable Hyper-V, let me just quickly close it. What we need to do is we need to go to settings. Then we're going to type here optional features. And now let's click here on optional feature. Here we will try to find Hyper-V, which obviously you will not find it. Then you can click here on more windows feature. And there we go. Here we can see Hyper-V simply check it and click on ok so this basically will search for the hyper-v file from internet and will apply hyper-v settings to our system now again unfortunately we need to um, restart our system so let me click here on restart and then come back now again after restart i hope that this one is the final one now let me click here on menu button and make a right click on the blue stack icon and click on run as administrator and now let's see if we can run blue stack or not and there we go now here we can see we were successfully able to start blue stack 
for the first time and it looked pretty awesome so here you can see your app center which is basically bluestack app center from there you can download games or app whichever you want to now you also have an option to make it full screen you can click here on this full screen button that's gonna make everything look full screen now you're going to have several gestures just like the android tablet have for example on the top right corner you may scroll it down and that's how you can see notification and if at any time you want to toggle full screen then you can always press f11 so that's how guys we have successfully installed this blue stack in our pc now there are few other important shortcuts for example let's say you want to see how many apps that you have open for that you can click here on this icon and then let's say you want to go back to home then you can click here on this home button and then you have this back button as well like that you have a setting option that will help you to take care of your system that will actually help you to further tweak the performance of bluestack here you may define amount of cpu cores that you want to assign to bluestack and then amount of ram that you would like to define for example i'm gonna give it 48 gigabyte of ram and let's see how good it actually look so that's all guys from my side in this video i hope that you find this video helpful and informational if yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for such content and i will see you soon in my next video till then take care and bye bye